Dear students, uh, we have learned yesterday combustion and flame. The new lesson we learned, especially we learned about combustion. Okay. So, what is the lesson it is? But mainly we have studied about uh, combustion. What is combustion children? It is a chemical process, chemical reaction where the material, the substance react with the oxygen liberating heat energy, light and the material which undergo combustion is called combustible material and we need air that is to get oxygen, we need air which support the combustion plus a proper heat energy that is to get a proper temperature that is ignition temperature of that material after that or when that material reaches that particular temperature then it starts burning it undergoes combustion and that we have studied in the last class then we studied different types of uh, examples of combustible material then we studied about um, how we can uh, put off the fire that is the burning how to stop in fire accidents that is in case of uh, the fire occurred to the smaller things like a table chair etc we can use water it will stop or prevent the contact of either with oxygen or it may reduce that ignition temperature heat energy it will decrease it so that the fire stops spreading to the other materials or it will extinguish completely. In some cases, if the fire accident is due to current like short circuit, you should not use water. Instead, the you have to use proper device which gives out carbon dioxide which will won't help combustion and which will uh, make block the um, contact of this combustible material with oxygen right or if it is fire accidents or the fire catches flame is obtained by the petrol or diesel such materials highly inflammable materials there also you should not use water directly should not throw instead that only carbon dioxide gas if you use because if it water spreads there uh, petrol or kerosene is lighter diesel etc which will form above the water a permos layer so it will spreads very easily okay so that uh, uh, one should bear in mind in extinguishing the fire today we will learn the different types of combustion. In combustion also there are different types. Mainly there are three types of combustion. So we will study types of combustion. Types of combustion. There are three types. First one, it is called rapid combustion. Rapid combustion. Rapid combustion, very good example is when you ignite the LPG gas in your house, you will use either matchstick or even a small spark of light by using the lighter immediately to catch fire and burning nicely the LPG gas in your houses right that is rapid combustion if you have to give little ignition or if you ignite the material then immediately very nicely it goes on burning it goes on undergoes combustion it is called rapid combustion very good example is the LPG gas when you use to cook your food that gas when it burns using lighter or matchstick when it catch fire it is rapid combustion second one is spontaneous combustion spontaneous combustion spontaneous combustion here the material suddenly the material suddenly 
start giving out flames burst out giving flames without seeing any apparent reason suddenly it got giving out flames the material that type of combustion is called spontaneous combustion there is no need to heat or you cannot see just it will catch fire you can see the flame bursting into flame that material you can see the fire okay without any reason or without uh, that uh, causing the burning the reason you cannot have get to see that reason but it will go on burning suddenly it catch fire that is called spontaneous combustion usually we can see day to day life the uh, ra uh, rapid combustion this is we cannot see in our surroundings it is little bit difficult to observe this one spontaneous combustion i can give the example in the forest you can see a forest fire taking place okay there by the during summer season when the temperature rises and the sun energy light heat energy given by sun may cause the fire of dry grass then it spreads big huge fire it goes on spreading over the several kilometers you have seen okay in some of the places forest fire taking place and much of the forest fire is due to the human negligence that is so possible that is if uh, by chance if people make some campfire or for people go for picnic in the forest region they will do campfire or burning and without um, putting off that one they left it to burn completely that particular small area or if they lit the cigarette and throw it that place if it is grass is there it may catch fire in the, it will results in the spontaneous combustion okay maybe it is rapid combustion because we can see the reason but you can consider it uh, uh, no nowhere you can see the uh, fire taking place catching the flame place you can see that one forest fire another example is for spontaneous combustion is in a coal mines where the workers are doing the uh, taking of that coal from that coal mines their possibility of uh, that coal powders mixing in the atmosphere sometimes by suddenly it may catch fire and it will lead to a great danger there because coal is very good combustible material you know so that um, accidents fire accidents may takes place here and there that is also one example for spontaneous uh, combustion where the coal dust in the atmosphere catch fire or it starts giving out the fire okay that is the second example you can give for spontaneous combustion and third one that is you are familiar during festival time i'll give the example that is explosion you may call you, by uh, uh, hearing the word you have heard it explosion the third type of combustion is explosion explosion correctly write down children the third type of combustion is explosion what is explosion in uh, now it will come festival time deepavali time usually in deepavali time the people are grown up uh, persons also they will uh, work with the, or they will uh, especially children they crack the crackers right there you can see the sudden giving out of if you ignite the crackers if you just go and ignite the crackers there you will see sudden Explo explosion means sudden giving out of light heat and even sound sound is also given out and at the same time lot of smoke is given out at that area when crackers will burn or if it ignite the crackers at time light heat sound all the three is given out suddenly and at the same time there will be lot of smoke also liberated during this process all takes place instantaneously all the together light sound then smoke 
heat everything takes place that is called sound is very important it gives out sound also so that we call explosion the bursting of a crackers bursting of a crackers that is the example for explosion and sometimes uh, to break the big rocks uh, they will use the explosive metals that also when burst it will gives out a lot of heat and uh, sound also you can hear explosions you have heard explosions that it is sound it will give out mainly sound heat and light also okay smoke also it will gives out lot of smoke that is called explosion so we have three types of combustion first one rapid combustion you have to use uh, some um, material to ignite to light that particular combustible material then it continuously uh, burning starts rapid combustion spontaneous here we cannot see the reason apparent reason for the material to give out the flame bursting the flame giving out flame immediately that is spontaneous combustion in explosion along with the heat and light sound is also produced giving out lot of smoke that is called explosion so this is the three types of um, combustion we can see in our day to day life next one we will learn mainly in this chapter regarding the flame what is flame children usually when the burning process the combustion takes place it accompanies the material will gives out the flame now is all the material gives out flame when it burns when it undergoes combustion will it give flame especially one particular example i will give that will not give the flame instead it will glow which is the example which is we can see in our day to day life now we are not using that one but in village they may familiar with that one have you heard about charcoal have you seen children the black porous light material when you burnt incomplete uh, burning of wood takes place then if the fire is if you put off that wood while burning the left out black wood is nothing but the charcoal okay this charcoal when you ignite this charcoal it uh, it is like a black porous material if you ignite it it uh, glows with the red color it will glows with the red color you cannot see the flame okay but if you lit the candle there here some small wick is there there you can see the flame nicely okay flames have different colors the flame a produce red home in your lpg gas it is blue color whereas the color of the flame of the candle in the last class you have seen it is yellowish color and you also observed the flame given by burning of the magnesium ribbon it is with the much bright white light right so if you uh, use different materials the color of the flame is slightly changes so especially the different gases are used or if you use different elements for burning purpose combustion purpose the color given out is different like if you sodium and potassium it is very quickly react with the air it react with oxygen there the flame color is a little different i cannot show it because it is very um, spontaneous reaction it is spontaneously it catch for you so it is one example for spontaneous combustion so that the color of the flame is different compared to the color of the candle or the burning of the especially if you observe today go and observe when mommy will cook see the flame of the gas okay it is very blue color and the heat energy given is much much more their combustion is very nicely taking place where when it gives yellow color that it is incomplete combustion complete combustion of the material will not takes place okay now 
that is different uh, types of combustion and here when we will use that material which will give much heat energy or flame that we call it as usual in our day to day what we will call fuel ok fuel. So, they are given the table you have one activity today at home what is the activity now see the page number 128 children 128 page they are given uh, table 10.2 materials forming flame on burning they are given some examples like a candle you know what is the color of the flame it forms flame or not that only you have to write not the color children only you have to write whether it will use flame or not candle you have seen in the birthday etc we will lit the candle so it is a uh, uh, forms flame put right mark and first uh, uh, second column forms flame is then you can put right it forms flame then does not form flame nothing to write dash right down second example magnesium you have seen in the last class burning of the magnesium it gives out flame so put right mark right mark for forms flame and does not form dash camphor have you seen camphor karpura will say in kannada while doing pujas etc the white uh, small piece they will use which is nothing but camphor if you directly hold it to the fire immediately it catch fire okay while doing puja in some of the houses they will use camphor it will also give red color flame so it is uh, it forms flame kerosene stove some of the houses they will use for cooking kerosene stove it also gives flame you know that so it is gives flame charcoal just now I said it won't give flame it will give the glow glow it will give red color glow so it won't form flame that is the work and if you take the this one candle lit the candle and if you hold any material above it here and you can observe just I will fold the chalk here I will show you it will give a black I will give the flow keep it now can you see the black color here can you see the black color children chalk deposited black color on the chalk it is the carbon when I said the yellow flame when the wax will burn here it will give yellow flame that yellow flame is due to incomplete combustion of the this wax material and it gives out the uh, incomplete the combustible material the carbon which is deposited here forming the black color here forming the black color it is incomplete combustion if you keep any material it will give out the smoke for burning up the candle etc even your vehicles the automobile vehicles when they run they will use petrol or diesel you have seen and when they will burn uh, use also this fuel combustion takes place and it is partial combustion they gives out the smoke carbon dioxide ok now here what is the structure of this uh, flame if you observe carefully this flame you should learn the structure of the flame in the example of this candle I will take now if you see here here this is the wick candle here this is the wick wick of the candle where it catches fire now when you catch fire due to heat energy when the flame is formed due to the heat energy it melts and it vaporizes this wax vaporizes and this vapors will go up here when here vapors will form at this place it won't catch fire it is the black region here very close to the wick the region here it is a very black here okay now above that you can see you can see the yellow flame 
where incomplete this is the middle zone where incomplete combustion takes place and if you see here little here I, during daytime you cannot see here the outermost layer here the blue color especially here you can observe the little blue color can you observe children outermost layer here this part you can see here because dark is there here here due to yellow color you cannot see this outermost layer of this one no? here here you can see blue not inside the innermost not i am saying this outer outer layer here the blue color you can see where the heat energy is much given out it is the most hottest place of the wax here okay i will show the diagram you will understand okay so structure of flame so if you take the candle here here wick is there wick is there okay then you will have the flame you have the flame here here you can have the flame but here at a particular this much region here at particular this much region here where you cannot see much here only you can see that color of the yellow color of this one flame you can observe here but this innermost part where you can observe the dark color okay this much and here the outermost structure here mainly I have shown this part, the outermost layer. Actually, this part you haven't observed here due to the much light. You cannot observe a thin, the dark blue is there. So, you cannot observe. Here I have shown in the candle there. But here also here, the outermost layer. This is actually where the heat energy is much hottest region where combustion of this wax vapor takes place completely and here it is incomplete combustion takes place and here there is no much heat. It is the least hot place. So, there are three particular regions. This is the outermost region. Outermost region or outer region. outermost layer right textbook they are given outer layer then this one middle layer middle zone that is best not layer zone outer zone middle zone and this one is innermost this part okay innermost zone here least the temperature is a uh, least here here it is a uh, complete combustion takes place complete uh, combustion takes place here in this region partial combustion takes place Partial combustion takes place. So, due to this complete combustion, it is the hottest place, hottest region here. And here it will not uh, burn here, the wax the vapor. So, it is that temperature is here least. And it is in between, moderate. This place, the heat energy given out is a uh, moderate uh, heat energy. Okay. So, if you observe the structure of flame given by the candle, the very close to the wick of the candle, where the dark region you can see here, where the wax vapor just due to the flame, it starts giving out here and it goes up. Okay, so here the burning will not take place much here, combustion will not take place for by the uh, wax vapor will go up here and at this region it will give out the flame which you can be seen as yellow or reddish color flame. Okay, this is the middle zone where 
it is partial combustion of the wax takes place the wax vapor it changes into solid to vapor gas state so wax vapor says will say and their combustion is incomplete partial it is that is why it is they have the color yellowish color and as it goes up if, or if you go outside this region little bit very close to the flame actually it is blue zone is there the outermost zone of the flame where it will give out to much heat energy it is much hot and you have seen the goldsmith while working with the gold to melt it they will produce the uh, by burning of the uh, coal or uh, other materials they will produce the glow of this one or flame there they will blow the um, air means they will give out the oxygen give the oxygen for the flame they will where they will blow it the metal uh, hollow metal rod they will use they will blow the air for this region the outermost region where heat energy is much so that it will completely burn the material so that they will get much heat energy and to melt the uh, gold etc gold silver etc that is about the structure of the flame and they are given one work table again to write the three types page number 130 types of fuels there uh, the fuels which are in uh, solid state or liquid state or uh, gas state you have to uh, write it one example they are given coal which is solid state liquid in kerosene uh, in a liquid state and natural gas it is in gas state so they are given their places so if you come across any fuel try to classify into solid liquid or uh, Yes, state that is one more work for you understood children so what is the fuel and what is the heat efficiency and by the fuel what it causes we will go through it in the next class meanwhile uh, we'll go to once again what we studied in this class about um, the different types of combustion we studied there are important three types of combustion that is rapid combustion example the burning of the lpg gas in our houses and second example it is spontaneous combustion without apparent reason the materials burst into give out the flames like uh, the fire in the forest forest fire or the fire accidents which takes place in the goal um, coal mine etc it is combustion spontaneous combustion and lastly we studied the third type of combustion that is explosion where heat light sound along with lot of smoke is given out in the burning process the bursting of crackers is very good example then we learned about different uh, uh, types of flames that is the different colors given out by flames or if you observe the flame given by candle or your kerosene lamp or LPG gas etc there will be slight change in the uh, color of the flame due to different uh, combustion taking place there complete or partial whatever it is the heat of energy given out is uh, different and lastly we studied the structure of flame there in a candle flame we have taken the example in the candle flame there are three important uh, zone or regions where the very close to the week we have innermost zone where there is heat energy given out is least is not much hot region where water uh, wax sorry wax vapor just coming out melting of wax by heat energy and they are moving up as it moves up the next middle zone is yellow color zone where partial combustion taking place all the wax vapor will not uh, undergoes combustion here that is why the heat energy is not much or least it is moderate heat energy in this region and as the wax will go out they start complete combustion of that wax uh, takes place that wax vapor where due to complete combustion the heat energy is given out much more and the thin blue color layer will be there at the outermost layer of the flame and that is the hottest region where complete combustion takes place and that is the 
blue colored layer here we are you are not observed properly due to the much light here a light yellow color flame it is a very thin layer outermost layer that is the structure of the flame and we have uh, given two activities at home do that and learn the lesson what we studied read the textbook and the last part of the lesson about um, the fuel the good fuel and its uh, effect on the nature will study in the next class thank you children